Artist Isaiah Langa has finally decided to put together his very first solo exhibition called Overlooked Shadows of the Economy. From sex workers to drug mules to street vendors and ordinary breadwinners, Azile says he tries to capture and immortalize all the silent ghosts who contribute to our country's economy. Well, this body of work is currently on, uh, on show at the Julie Miller Investment Art Institute in Johannesburg and will be on display until the 1st of April. Now, he joins me now in studio to take us through his artistic lifestyle and about his latest work. A very good morning to you, Azile, and welcome. Thank you. Um, yes. Okay, you, f first of all, you described art as not as a day job or a career, but uh, it's a lifestyle, it's a passion. Elaborate on that. Well, um, most of the time, especially in our communities, they take art as, or rather, it's not something that is known, but we live it every day. If you think about it, from early age, we played, we draw and all those stuff. So that lifestyle, I took it up until now. So for me, I take it as... A life that I live every day. That's, yeah. that's art for me. Yeah. As an artist with, a, with an academic background, just why is it important for you to study art uh, instead of depending on talent? Well, um, I guess when you have a background of what you're doing, you understand it better. So it's best before you do something to know it, where it comes from, mm -hmm. how we relate to it and how we can take it further. So when you know the history, you can push it to the future. Okay. Let's yeah. talk about your latest exhibition, Overlooked Shadows of the Economy. This is quite a, a catchy title. Uh, yeah. What inspired you to go for this? Well, because um, I stay here in Joburg now, my studio is based here. So every time when I walk on the streets, I look at people. So deep inside, when you look into, uh, into their eyes, you realize the inner them, how, how, how now we relate and how... I see myself through them. So I looked in, in, in the spirit and how now the spirit plays a big role rather than because you walk past people, but you can feel their energies. You can feel mm -hmm. where they come from, but you don't know those people. Mm -hmm. So with this, um, th uh, with this topic, uh, the topic I looked at now, how I can speak for the voiceless. Mm -hmm. And that's when I came about with that topic. Okay. So the overlooked shadows of economy, it's actually the spirits that we see every day, but that are inside us. So how we walk around trying to make a living and all those stuff, we, we walk around without being noticed. Like if you look at where we come from now, mm -hmm. your background, your mother, how they took us from day one to now, and now we contribute into another sector of economy. But they are not, their stories are not told. Mm. We True. sit here now, but we never tell their stories. We, we don't True. really know, or nobody knows where they come from and how they got us here. So I pay homage to that. So this show talks about that. So do you believe it's actually a, a very effective uh, mechanism or medium to tell those stories? With the medium I'm using? Yes. I feel like now, if you look at a candle, because I use uh, fire to paint, it's a destructive um, medium, can okay. bend, but at the same time, having to create life out of that. It's me trying to cleanse, actually, the spirits, because mm. it's soot that I capture with. So that smoke that I use, it's actually now trying to, 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 to draw those spirits into my work. And with, with the fire, if you look at a candle, we use it to, 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 to lighten up the right, space, right, to... Right. to, to, to to purify the space, having to draw with it now, I'm trying now to communicate to the other world where right. those spirits come from. So I'm cleansing and purifying through the process of creating. Now, Azile, your work focuses more on uh, social political activism. Yes. Uh, just uh, how important is it, or rather, how have you managed to capture? the true essence of the state of corruption uh, for your subjects, particularly in this exhibition? Well, in this exhibition, what I did was um, I literally looked at the everyday life and rem reminding people of who they are. So it, in most cases, if, if let's say you look at a tree, it's always a tree, right? Up until somebody paints it, you look at it in a different view. So in this exhibition, I captured what people see every day, what they live with, but nobody sees it up until you show them that, okay, cool, this is a painting I made, and this is what I'm trying to say. And the medium that you, you always use every day, and that medium tells a different story. So the medium itself tells a story. Mm -hmm. So me as a social, um, as I do my, my commentary, 
I literally don't bring something new. I mm. show you what you see every day, okay. but in a different perspective, which makes you think further. Okay, you've also participated uh, previously uh, in group exhibitions. So why did you decide to go solo this time? Well, I feel like um, me having to have this exhibition, it, it allowed me to, to go deeper into my thoughts and have my own signature. Because as an artist, we, 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 the, each and every artist have their own language in, in creating art. So I believe that this now took me a step further from where I was. So it allows me to know myself and to tell my own story through my medium and through the stories that I've been telling with the other artists. So um, I believe that all this exhibition were more of a training for me mm -hmm. to get to where I am now. Okay. So I'm really, I, I think I'm ready now to go further okay. with this one, yeah. All right, Azai Langa, all the best in your exhibition and thanks for chatting to us this morning. Thank you. All right, that's uh, Azai Langa. He's a fine artist and was speaking to us about his latest body of work, which, he, which is actually his very first solo art exhibition called Overlooked Shadows of the Economy. This is Morning Love. Let's go for coffee now, shall we?